Hi, Matt from IT Supplies here. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to load media into the Epson Stylus Pro 7900. This is actually going to be the same process as the Epson Stylus Pro 7890, Epson 9900, and the Epson Stylus Pro 9890. The first thing that you'll need to do is prepare the roll to be inserted into the printer. You'll want to take your two end caps. As you can see, you're able to change it from a two inch core to a three inch core. By switching to a three inch core, the tension expands. For the purposes of this roll, I'm going to be using a two inch core. You're going to want the lever to be up when you're putting the end cap into the roll. Once you put the end cap into the roll, you're going to clamp down on the, the clamp. Turn the roll over, do the same thing, make sure it's on the two inch core size. Put the end cap in, then clamp it down and your roll is ready to be inserted into the printer. Go ahead and lift the front cover up on the printer. There's going to be a blue lever that's on here. When it's in the up position, it's locked. If you pull it all the way down, you're going to hear a click. You're able to move the guide along the rail. Start with the right side. Go ahead and put the right side in. Slide over the guide on the left side so that it is all the way over to the right side of the printer. Then you'll want to go ahead and lock the slider guide. Then you'll want to go to the LCD menu. The upper right hand button is the platen release. When the light is not lit, it means that the platen is closed. When you press the button, it's going to open. Once the platen is released, you'll see that at the top it's going to say paper released. The left icon indicates what kind of paper you're going to be loading in. Right now it's selected roll with auto cut. If you press the left arrow button, it's going to switch to just roll with no auto cut or cut sheet. For these purposes, I'm going to load it a roll with auto cut. The printer is ready to accept paper when the orange light is lit in the upper right hand corner. Also, sometimes it's easier to turn down the suction as you're feeding the paper, so you can go ahead and do that as well. Once everything's all set, go ahead and feed the paper through the top of the printer. Go ahead and feed it until you see it comes out of the bottom. Once it's out of the bottom, hold it at the bottom and pull a little bit back on the top. This helps to make sure that the, the paper is aligned and it's not going to get skewed. Go ahead and close the top cover. Turn the suction back to the middle section. That way it will kind of hold it in place. And then press the upper right hand button to close the platen gap. It's going to ask you to press the pause button. Either you can press the pause button there, or if you wait a few seconds, it's going to automatically start preparing the paper for printing. After the paper is loaded, you're going to get a dialog on the menu that asks you if the roll paper settings are OK. If you hit No, it's going to give you all of the choices of papers you can select. Select the one that you're going to be selecting in the printer driver when you go to print. So I have Canvas loaded in there right now, so I'm actually going to be selecting watercolor paper. Once you hit OK, you're going to see that the LCD screen is going to say ready and still show you the, the roll paper icon with the auto cut. Loading a cut sheet into the Epson Stylus Pro 7900 is a slightly different process. I'm about to take you through on how you load a cut sheet in this printer. Now there's two different ways you can go from here to load a cut sheet. The first method is to actually leave the platen closed and to take your sheet of paper and start feeding it in the top all the way over to the right. You're going to see that when you do this, it's going to ask you to press the down arrow. From here, go ahead and press the down arrow, and then the printer is going to start feeding the paper. Once the paper is loaded, you're going to get the same dialog box. You can select yes if you have the same type of paper. Go ahead and select no, and choose the paper that you'd like to load. Once you select the correct paper, click OK and you'll be at the ready menu on the LCD screen. The second method for loading a cut sheet is actually very similar to loading the roll paper. First thing you're going to want to do is open the platen. Once this is done, make sure that it shows cut sheet as well on the left hand side and start to feed the paper through. If you let go of the paper, it's going to slide all the way through the printer. So hold it at the top. You want to make sure that the paper goes all the way through the platen so that the print head can see it when it loads it up. Once the paper is in place, go 
ahead and close the platen again. You're going to hear it close, and it's going to ask you to press the pause button. And it's going to start to load the media. Again, the last step, you're just going to need to select your paper type. So go ahead and hit no. Select your paper type. And then you'll be ready to print. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube page for more videos. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for some special offers as well.